day 50, the halfway point of 100 days of code. And you're going to use your amazing file load and save techniques to build your own idea storage system. Now, you may be like me and you have brilliant ideas in the middle of the day randomly and you think, oh, I need to write that down somewhere. And you never write it down. And then you come to the end of the day and you go, oh, I had a good idea today and it's gone. It's left that big bonce and disappeared. Well, we're going to fix that. You're going to write a program that prompts the user to type in their idea. They're going to type that idea in and it's going to get saved to a text file called my.ideas. That idea is going to be added in append mode so that each idea goes on a brand new line of that file. From your menu, you'll be able to choose whether you want to add an idea or load up a random idea. If you want to add an idea, what you're going to do is load in the list of ideas and pick one randomly to display to the user. Pause it on the screen for a few seconds and then clear it and go back to the menu. This involves understanding both saving and loading, but also thinking a little bit abstractly about how you're going to pick one of those loaded ideas at random. There are a couple of options here. You can use the split command to get an array of values, or you can use randint to generate a random number and move to that level. And keep loading different lines until you get to that point. If you're scratching your head and wondering just how do I get started, some help is available to you. You could go to ask.replit.com, click on 100 days of code, and make sure you find the post with this project. There'll be other people's questions in there, or you can ask your own. You could also go on the Discord, go to the 100 Days of Code channel and ask your question there. Or you could submit your question to me for our live stream called Replit 101 and Coding Helpline, where we take your coding questions and try and solve them live on air. All the links will be in the tutorial pane. When you're done, publish your finished work on Replit using the publish command and then share it with the world using the hashtag Replit 100 Days of Code and social media will go crazy that you've built them an idea saving system. Day 51 tomorrow. And for those of you that want to save more than just single bits of text, I'm going to show you my patented lazy save and lazy load. But it does involve lists.